What's up everybody, Will Reynolds here, founder of Sear Interactive. Today we're gonna to talk about, surprise, surprise, big data and the way to find competitors who are producing low quality pages at scale because they've got these big teams of engineers who can build these systems to build pages automatically. And by joining your PPC and SEO data at scale, you're able to find opportunities that they're just winning where you're actually driving conversions and paid, but you don't have the content to rank for. And they're beating you with an auto-generated page by a computer. And I will tell you time and time again how often I have found that those pages are not typically good answers. <laughs> Okay, so let's take an example of one of these long tail searches. PVC outdoor rocking chair. Let's go ahead and click on target. You can look on this page and see, uh, all right, this isn't even a rocking chair. Uh, so the page is decent, right? I mean, it's this isn't PVC, so the page is decent. But if you look up here in the URL bar and you see this slash S, that's how targets auto-generated pages show up to the web. And it ranks, and this is getting conversions for one of my clients. This word is getting conversions. Um, and then for my friends at Wayfair, no, I don't want to see notifications. White plastic rocking chair. All right, well, most of these look like they're white. Uh, many of them are probably plastic. This is a much better page. So this is actually a really good auto-generated page. It is a good one. So Wayfair, good freaking job for the most part. Love your little content block at the bottom and your related searches. So in general, good job but I just happen to compete with these guys. So I'm gonna use those slugs in their URLs to find out everywhere those pages are outranking my client. And then my client and I are gonna run a very strategic test to figure out how much content do we need to write to beat those folks out and how much revenue could that be for them. So let's go on over to Power BI. So what I've got whited out here are all the domains that my client competes with and the, and the search terms that those domains are ranking for. Once again, get used to this. I am looking at 300,000 unique pieces of content and I'm looking at 38,000 competing domains across 74,000 keywords that have driven X number of conversions for my client. So now what I'll do is I'll go to Wayfair. And you can see here what I've done is I've said, show me anywhere where my client is ranked two or lower where Wayfair is ranking in position one through 10. Now, one quick caveat to that. Obviously, if I'm ranking two and Wayfair is ranking six, I'm already beating them. So you use the sliders and the slicers how it best fits you. But keep this in mind. When you start to find these slicers, you can find at scale which SERPs and which SERP pages are full of nothing but auto-generated pages, okay? So that's one of the ways sometimes where you can direct your client to spend more time on these because these are gonna be quick, easy wins. So as you can see here, I'm looking at where my client's in position two through 105 and where uh, the competitor is one through 10. I can easily slice that over and make it one through five. Doesn't really matter. And I'm looking for the, in the URL, keyword.php. And here's what I'm finding. Here's the domain. Here's the URL at Wayfair. Here's how many uh, keywords that, that URL is ranking for. And you can also see that it must have some other sites or somebody at All Modern is also using keyword.php. And I can see all those individual search terms. I can see where the competitor ranks, which is always in the top five, versus where I rank. And I can see those conversions. So now guess what? You're empowered to have a conversation with your client that sounds like this. Hey, I see that Wayfair is beating us out on 3,800 keywords with auto-generated pages. Those pages are generating 416 conversions for us and at a conversion value of X for a typical customer or a lifetime value of Y, I think that if we invest less than this amount, we should be able to beat them. So let's go ahead and start a test, which is exactly what we did for our client. Our test involved doing three different page types. One that was very like highly curated. One that was kind of a eh, medium page. So let's say the top page, we spent $500 to make. The medium page, we spent $100. And the lowest page, we spent 10 bucks on. How can we produce a page with an intern or somebody that can rival these pages? And we were able to beat them out consistently with the $10 page. So you run the small test, get the data, then it tells you how to scale it and go at these guys. But this isn't just Wayfair. There's also target. Target uses slash S slash. So I can find individual target URLs that are ranking for hundreds of keywords that I've bid on in the last year, where target ranks versus where I rank and how many conversions there are. Same concept. So my recommendation to all of you today is you, if you're sick of getting beat by these really big companies and you're a mid-market player, this is the strategy to find their slugs. If you know somebody's blog is crap, find their slash blog 
uh, format of their URL, and then find all those pages that are ranking for words that, and converting for you from a paid standpoint, and it makes it such a simple case for you to go out and produce that content to go get those conversions back and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys. Hopefully this helps. Please subscribe wherever that is or thumbs up this video or ask any questions below. We answer all the questions below when you have them. Let's go get it.